If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and seek and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal their land. This is Catherine Worldwide Evangelical Outreach. My name is Catherine Favor. As most of you know, the Lord brought me before, the Lord always give me, bring me out. Sometimes he bring me out to show me people that are dying, show me people that are dead. Sometimes I have seen events in Revelation, but this time it's a message to Africa. It God's warning to Africans. This message is have to parts but this is the first part just as the lord directed that's how i'm giving this message brethren it is a warning to africans and especially i have african heritage the lord brought me in 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 in, in the street it's in an african country i saw a lot of people dead but before i saw these people dead I saw a lot of Muslims, like Imams, a lot of them you could see based on their dressing, you will see that they are Muslim leaders. A lot of them sat and had a meeting and I was watching, they were deciding what will happen. And I asked the Lord, I said, what is going on? When I, I had the, the Lord said, I had this group had a meeting and are planning a next move of action in Africa, such as against Nigeria. I was taken out to the street. I I saw a lot of people, both young and old, all lay on the ground dead. I was shocked and I could not describe what has happened, but I saw a lot of people dead. This is called, the, the voice of the Lord just came to me and said, this is caused by deceptive introduction of love for money, power and wealth for leadership and religious control against human, against brothers, against sisters, against father, mother, against, against neighbors. And I wonder why. Then the Lord gradually started taking me back to what, how Africa started, how they sold their, 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 their brothers and sisters for love of money, because of power, because of position. There's no love for one another. And because the devil took advantage of that many that came to africa they introduced love of money to a lot of africans but because of that love of money the devil chip in with islamization movement in africa and when i saw all these people dead the lord said let me repeat it again the lord said they, they have started their first move now this is the, this is the second move of their meeting, they have had a meeting for a second move of action in Africa. And because of the fact that many Christian leaders have sold their faith for money, many leaders in Africa have sold their faith, they have sold their birthright for money because of love of money, because of power, because of position, and they sold, they decide to have a relationship with the wrong group, not knowing that they are having a relationship with satanic agents in, in control by Islamic demonic activities. These are Isla force of Islamization. I know a lot of things that have been happening in some African countries. I always would like to use Nigeria as an example. It's like the ground is, is, is so soil with blood. They are slaughtering with blood. You see the second move, they're coming out in the streets. They are using their knives and swords. Some have gone. The, Boko Haram is there. They have a lot of in Cameroon. They have a lot in Zimbabwe. There's a lot going on. When I, when the Lord showed me all this, I was surprised. I said, God, why must it be Africa? He said, because a lot of the leaders, because of love for money, because of love for position and power, they sold themselves to the wrong group. And the wrong group, they are sending their lands and properties to their Islamization. This for Islamization is this a this a terrorist Islamization group. They didn't know, but they are coming against them, even against their families. They will take even that which they have given to them. As the Lord keeps showing me this. I was so worried because the, the amount of people I saw in the street, this is a move of satanic force. And the Lord took me back. The Lord took me back, started showing me other things. I was taken out from there. I saw a dog and the, the color of the dog was white and brown as the dog started licking the other little dog as he was licking the other little dog. He started eating up his own little dog. The, the dog. It's like many Christians have gone back to their vomit because of the Lord 
one for money, position, and power. They sold their faith. They even ready as they backslide. They now eat each other, backbite each other, take each other position to the extent of killing each other, thinking they are getting something, but they don't know that the devil is in control. Using now the enemy use the opportunity because of love for money, and people want to take position of their brothers and their sisters' property. They want to take position of what other people have when they see somebody that is doing well you know they have they have jealousy they want to get everything the devil put all this and now it's muslim it's islamization if you talk of muslim it's kind of different but this is hotsman this is fulanization they gradually having their meeting the devil kind of using them pitching into africa praise the lord and when the lord told me before he finished up giving me this message and he showed me another part, another part the Lord showed me has to do with another human being, praise the Lord. How to do with another human being. I was taken out, I saw a man in a more like without clothes and i saw this man holding another man with the hand of the captor you know the person that is under captive held to the back and the captor was dragging this person the lord brought me forth and look at the face of this person that is holding the other man i all of a sudden the face that i have in a horn you know the forehead that having had horns on the on the both on the left side and the right side the face grimacely changed and he had the the, the captive and started, you know, went to the grimacely, went to the face of this person that was held and started eating this person up. I was surprised. I said, God, what is going on? Why would this human being eat the fellow human being? The Lord said, what did you see? I said, I saw the human being change like a creature. People will come. They come to Africa with the intention, you know, think that we Africans think, oh, they come for something good. You see, like I said earlier, brothers sell their brother because of power, because of position, because of love for money. They start, you know, eating each other up. Anything that is good for the brother, the innocent, they take it by force. They rule by avarice. Praise Lord, praise the Lord. When I saw this, I was really shocked. The Lord said, "What can you?" The Lord told me, "Give me an assignment." This assignment took a little long because I didn't do the assignment. The Lord gave me this message. It didn't. Come Come on time with the way the Lord want me want me to bring it. So the Lord gave me an assignment. He said, "Go look at African, uh, you know, the natural resources in Africa." I made my research. Africa has fifty four countries, and I look at Africa like I'm going to use just few because there's a lot of when you have fifty four countries in Africa, you cannot be able to get all of them. But Africa country has such uh, like uh, like. Kenya, Sierra Leone, Ghana, Nigeria, Mauritania, Namibia, Egypt, Botswana, a lot of them. There are so many countries there. They have smart, intelligent people with high IQ. And because of this, you know, they are very smart. And because the governments and the leaders are not even doing what they were supposed to do, they hold, they lead by avarice, the positions that are supposed to be for the right person, they give it to the wrong person. And people still start like going out of Africa, you know. When you look at it, I will do some research about an African intelligence. I noticed that Africa have high IQ in education, smart education students, some young, some old, you know, they are very, very small with high quality. There are some countries have high quality plans of education, but poor government assistance, such as in Nigeria, in Kenya, when they are when they are given opportunity to go to the Western world, you see them, they excel, they perform outside, out, you know, outstandingly, they do well. When I look at it, I told the Lord, I said, wow, we Africans are very, very smart. And they are when they're given what they are supposed to get and enough assistance, resources, uh, scholarship, you see them, they excel, they try, they excel, they become so productive in outside country, in out in the Western world. Why they leave Africa like that? Why? Because they they ran away for their life because they were not getting the opportunities they were getting. And the Lord told me, Okay, is that what you found? I said, Yes, yeah, what about the food outside? When I look at the food aspect, I know there's this kind of food I like. I like quinoa. 
Kinua is very, very healthy. You know, I noticed, I didn't know that Kinua is from Africa. It's so healthy. I'm, I'm so, you know, I was shocked. I said, this is very good. There are so many healthy food in, from Africa. And I look at even a lot of other food, like there are some they call Fonia. It's, you know, it's a drug resistant millet. You, it's very expensive in, 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 in New York. And that's Kinua. That's what some people call you Kinua like that. Like they call it um, Fonia. Some call it Sahel, you know, it's like a millet, you know, it's very, very healthy and I look at all that, a lot of if I, because of time, there are so many food, I look both Moringa, both pumpkin leaf in, from Africa you know, so many fruits, so many healthy food, you know, people Nigeria is so uh, Nigeria, African countries they are so blessed they are so blessed and the Lord said, did you see, I said, I see a lot Africa is so blessed but what is really going on because a lot of, because of the bad leaders, the devil hacked into those areas and now it's fulanization now it's the Muslim, the error of the leaders is that many ran out of Africa due to lack of resources for education, good job and hunger, many those are the supposed leaders, they deprive the people their benefits and they live with avarice, they steal from the people and steal from the poor. Now it's fulanization and it's so surprising. Fulanization with herdsmen, terrorists with Islamization and you see and many Christian leaders compromise their faith because of money not knowing that the plan of the enemy of Satan, like you see the, the, the demon trying to eat the other demon, is human being trying to suppress other human beings. They eat them raw, suppress them not to excel and they think they can excel, not knowing that there's gold in heaven. The plan of the enemy now is to Islamize Christians in Africa. They are, you know, the, the, their leaders are the heads of the terrorists in Africa. When the Lord showed me this, I was I was so shocked. I do not take what people say. I like to go by what the Lord revealed to me. And you know, most of me, most of you know me. I go by revelation. And the Lord took me out there. The Lord took me and the Lord gave me just some example. I do, I was brought in an office. This is the errors of the government in Africa because they sold their souls to the devil. The leaders, when they come in there, they are after themselves not knowing that the Islam, the, the terrorists are giving them money, buying lands. You see Christian soldier birthright in a way of getting money not knowing that the devil is coming using Islamization to suppress the leaders and Christians as they sold their birthright to the enemy and you see them coming in against Christians. You see you'll be praying not knowing that the head pastor already sold, he sold his faith to the devil and they're not bringing so so many land they bring in terrorist groups in nigeria and it's a shame it's so surprising that even the presidents are the terrorist sponsors now the, i was brought in an office the lord said okay let us see some of the things that are going on the lord showed me two things one is in the government one is in the church the one that happened in the government i was brought a man came with for interview and he had high qualification he brought out his documents and the man looked at him said yeah you're qualified can you wait outside the guy wait, went outside guess what another person that came in like came in like in an army uniform came in from the back door and there's this thick dark force that came with this man he came down with just a slip and he got a slip maybe like a complimentary card he gave it to the interviewer and the interviewer looked at it and he gave this person the, all the paperwork for him to fill out. He filled out all the paperwork and behold, the other person that has been waiting, I looked at him, the Lord took me out, I was going in between and out, he put his hand in his pocket, his pocket, there was no money for money for food, but he's looking for a job, that's why he came there. There was no money and he was there waiting. Behold, this interviewer went to him outside and told him, he said, okay, you have to go and come back, you have to wait, we will call you. And the Lord showed me weeks, days, this person was waiting, but meanwhile, that position he high high qualification for was given to somebody that don't even, that is not even qualified without even the degree or certification to prove that he is qualified for that job. That person was given the job. Why? Because he maybe he know somebody, maybe he know somebody in authority. Mind you, the person have an army uniform because they know somebody in authority. The Lord used that to give me example. They know somebody in authority, and he gave the complimentary card, just the name and the complimentary card of somebody 
and somebody that is not qualified a job. The Lord said, these are the problems in Africa. These are the problems in the leadership in the country. When they put the wrong people in the office, they don't know what they are doing. The people suffer. They keep putting the people that they know and the people that are qualified, well educated, are hanging out there without food. And they went to school, they paid themselves through school, and they are there without a job. The Lord said, These are the problems. The people are going to that is the problem in Africa. The Lord, when I asked the Lord, the Lord, what was happening? The Lord said they chose the unqualified wrong person for the position and told the qualified to wait. He is waiting without money to feed himself. The lambs suffer for selecting unqualified wrong people without knowledge of their duties to walk and lead the people. They choose ignorant people. These are the things the devil see and keep creeping into Africa because the people that came in. The, the group that colonized Africa, some of the African countries, made them to love money. And the leaders that came in they love money, they love money more than themselves, that they have to even eat their own relative, send them out, and to get money, to get land, get power. And the second one, the Lord told me, example in Africa. Ex another example, the one is government. This one is example in the church. I saw a young man came to an office, a church, for counseling. I saw two people sat down. The pastor was counseling this person. After doing the counseling, he prayed. There's something like that is alive. He gave the person gave to the pastor and he, the pastor wrapped it in a white uh, uh, fabric. After the person left, the pastor have a spouse, like a lady came in. The pastor gave this, he, they gave this to the lady. When he gave to the lady, when I asked the Lord, I said, what is that in the envelope? It's like a life. He said, that's an information. When somebody comes to a pastor uh, for prayer meeting, for counseling, they skip their secret. You know, when they tell somebody something, pastor something, it's, it has to do with their life. And that's why you see something that is white, that is a life, that is wrapped in a white fabric. That's the information, the secret that this pastor is supposed to keep. But guess what? He did not keep it. Let me tell you how what happened a lady came in when the lady came in the pastor passed it to the lady i asked who is the lady the pastor, the lord said that's the was supposed to be the wife and when the information was got caught to the hand of the lady guess what she opened it and that thing that was alive came out when he, she opened it i looked at the wall the wall develops like a a, a curvy brown swollen ob objects and when i look where there are all ears you hold you see swollen ears all over the wall of that office. I said, wow, the walls are changing. The Lord said, the walls now have ear. Just what? The Lord said, watch what will happen. All of a sudden, I saw that the, the, once the, the lady opened it, the world developed ears. You, I, I saw chaos in the church auditorium. People, there was chaos. The person that gave this information to the pastor that, that the wife spread to the church and the person secret came out, they discouraged people. You see what I'm saying? There was a chaos in the church. People started fighting. There was rebelliousness in the church. The Lord said, this is one of the problems in the church. People get discouraged. The Lord God said that's just a glimpse of just to show me where the problems are when you don't trust when you when you say you are a leader you 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 are supposed to do that what the Lord call you to do the people confide in you you are information carrier for the Lord and for the person and you must know the people you pass information to and behold the spouse carried it out and when they carried it out it became a chaos in the in the in the in, in, in the church that's why a lot of people are so discouraged and the Lord kind of showed me more some have other powers they used to operate that there are a lot of pastors do not have encounter with Jesus because they don't have a encounter with Jesus, they don't know how to lead the people. They live by deceptions and lies. There are few that are serving God that have a counter with Jesus. After that, the Lord showed me, he said, let me show you another problem that is operating in the land. The Lord took me to a place I saw a youth I saw a youth in a shrine. I saw the leader of the shrine. And this is a young man. When I look behind this young man in this shrine, there was a lot of dark force. But what the Lord said, I should look outside through the door. When I look outside, I saw a lot of youths 
in line waiting to come into this shrine. I said, what is going on? He said, a lot of them are turning to other gods. Shrine for sacrifice, human sacrifice for money. Many have sold their souls to the devil. I was shocked. So this young man, I saw this young man, he have a white fabric tied round round the chest down i'm standing on a mirror and guess what the person that was supposed to be the shrine leader he said told you know was telling the guy what to do the guy has something like a sword you know they do go for human sacrifice for money sacrifice that was what was going on i stood there the lord was holding me by the side the lord said okay command the mirror to break and Command the mirror to break before he finished what he was about to say. As soon as the Lord said, Command the mirror to break, I, a, a strong power came into me, a boldness came into me. I commanded the mirror and it shattered. The young man looked at me with anger and screamed. Then he heard, of, you know, the head of the shrine came and said, What just happened? The guy, the shrine person didn't notice me, but the guy noticed me. You understand? So when the guy looked at me, the shrine man asked, What just happened? He said, Is that a woman? That's the woman that did it. All of a sudden, the Lord took me out there. And I asked, I said, Why must youths go for human sacrifice? And the Lord said, that he wants me to see the problem in the land. And because people are discouraged, churches, the people don't trust the pastors anymore. Many are discouraged. The people are wave, going back and forth. No, no, no job in the land. People don't have food to eat. They want to they not go down to human sacrifice, blood sacrifice. That's why I saw that mirror. All of a sudden, the Lord said, that the church should rise is a warning to Africa. This, this is the part two of this message we'll be following because the Lord showed me more continuously. The Lord wants the church to return back. That's why he gave me the message. You know, he, he gave me the message. He said, repent and return back to God. He said, it, um, just one verse the Lord gave me in this message. That's Second Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my my face turn from their wicked ways then will i hear from from heaven and i will forgive their sins and we heal their land and the next message for this the lord showed me the move he's taking to africa at the fulanization group the people that are killing a lot of people they thought christians have no god brethren i just want to use this message to encourage you if you are from africa those of you that will get this message from africa all africans all over the world the lord is calling us to unite the lord is calling us to pray he said he will we pray that he gave me example when he told me to command the to command that mirror to break and that mirror broke the guy saw that it was a woman that did it and there was a lot of them there as soon as he saw you know he saw that it was me the lord took me and then the lord told me he said when we pray and command that he will hear that they think that christians have no god and the lord went ahead and he showed me he said he reminded he gave me a he reminded me of a video a a, a Christian leader that was beheaded on the on, on the media by terrorist group leaders. The Lord showed me when the Lord brought this video, I cried so much. I said, Lord, why are you bringing this video again? He said they think that he, the Lord is not hearing. That he is hearing the cry of his children. That he is hearing the, he has seen the pain of the children. That he will rise against them. It was in the next video the Lord showed me the force the Lord is bringing to Africa to fight for Africa. Africa, but the Lord said I should tell Christians wherever you are in the face of the earth if you're an african the lord is calling african to forgive each other if your brother have hurt you forgive whatever you think that a pastor or somebody must have done to you forgive and let go and the lord is calling the church to pray he said when you pray i will hear they think there's no god and when he the lord brought this guy this man the leader of terrorist group of boko haram beheaded that man of god the Lord said that was a slap on his face, that he will rise against them. They think that Christians have no God, but a lot of Christians cause it because they, they soil their hands with the enemy. A lot of Christian leaders in Africa, especially Nigeria, they sold their birth right to the Islams and not knowing that the Islams are coming to Islamize Nigeria they are coming to Islamize Africa like in Cameroon, in Nigeria that the Lord said they sold their hands, that's why the enemy think that there is no God, that those of us that, have, that serve God in truth and in spirit, the Lord said come upon me, I will answer you, that's what the Lord said and the Lord is telling the church 
forgive each other. As many that sold their faith to the enemy, they sold their land, they sold they, they sold the people's property. To, to invite the Islams to take over the lands of the innocent. The Lord said he is going to rise. When the Christians call upon him, and there are many Christians that are praying, the Lord said that he is hearing them in Africa, wherever you are in the face of the earth. As you see what is going in Africa, a lot of Christians are killed in the world. The Lord said he is rising. When we pray that he will hear us, because he saw the death of the Christians. He saw the death of the righteous. He saw the beheading of that, the beheading of that man of God and the terrorists thought they are they are defeated the Lord said he is rising against them that the blood of the innocent have cried to him that he will rise but he want Christians except we pray he said if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then will I hear from heaven and we forgive their sins and we heal their land that's the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14 I know a lot of people a lot of you know this portion of the scripture the Lord said I should remind a lot of Christians in the face of the earth. Remember years back when you call upon me, I answered you. Why are you not calling upon me now in truth and in spirit? You have to repent and forgive one another. You have to live in trusting only God. Do not trust in human. And the Lord said again as many that use evil powers to operate in the church of Jesus Christ. Many sowed their hands, sowed their hands with blood. Many are for human sacrifice. The Lord said as Christians pray that he will come down against them. That's why he commanded me. He said, command that mirror to break and that mirror broke. The guy was not able to strike whoever he wanted to strike for that money ritual, you see. So because of love of money, because the love of the love of money is the root of all evil. Many have sold, sold their hands. Many Christians have sold their hands. This message is for Christians all over the world. This message is for Africans all over the world. And this message is for Africans. We Christians we are praying and the Lord will come down and this message if you're a terrorist group i want you to get this message the god of hosts is rising against you his name is jehovah nisi he's the god that will fight our battle we will hold our peace he is jehovah ebenezer you terrorist group you think the god of heaven is not seen there is no other god except the god of hosts in the name of jesus every knee should bow every tongue must confess that jesus christ is the lord christian the lord is calling us this message is a warning it's God's warning to Africa just like the Lord took me back to look at what started in Africa, the love of money, Christians sold their hand, they think they are getting money not, not because of the love of money they have, the terrorist group bought them over, even in some governments the terrorist leaders are the presidents in that country, the Lord said as Christians pray that he will hear my name is Catherine Favor this is Catherine Worldwide Evangelical Outreach this message is God's warning into Africa. This is part one. I want you to watch out for the party because the Lord showed me more of this message. So if you're African, wherever you are in the world, pray for one another. Cry to God for one another. The Lord said that when you pray, that you should remind him of the Christian leaders that were beheaded, Christians that are burnt alive, Christians that were killed, churches that are burnt down, children were slaughtered with knife, they with matches. The Lord said that should bring this before his throne of grace, that the cry of the Christians are coming to him, that he will rise up against the Islams, he will Islamization group, the herbsmen, the terrorist group, the Boko Haram, those of them that in Cameroon, those of them that in Nigeria, the Lord said he is rising. So Christians when you get this message, the Lord is calling us to prayer. Dude, some people judge me. I don't hold it against you. I forgive you. I want us to come together. Do not judge that brother because that sister did not cover her hair. That sister cover her hair. That sister put on makeup or not. That is not the gospel of Jesus Christ. The gospel of Jesus, when you have Jesus, accept Jesus as Lord and personal Savior. Forgive of, he forgive you your sins. You seek the face of God. Have an encounter with Jesus. Move with the Spirit of God. Come with joy. You come with peace. You come with forgiveness, you love one another everything about God is love don't go judging one another it is time for we Christians to rise you will see some African country if somebody that is a white that come to the church to preach without covering their hair nobody
Nobody will complain. But because it's an African, they judge an African, they judge this person, they judge that person. Let us put judging aside. It's time to pray, Africa. Let us rise. The Lord is calling us for prayer. Arise, forgive one another. Call the Lord of hosts. He said he will hear. May the Lord bless you. Watch out for part two of this message. May the Lord bless you. This is Catherine Worldwide Evangelical Outreach. My name is Catherine Favor. Remain blessed. Watch out for part two. God bless you. Bye-bye.